The guys are reporting uh, Sunday. Um, and we'll have physicals and all that kind of stuff. First day of practice it until Wednesday, but pretty excited to get started. You know, um, been a long time coming. We're pretty excited about the roster we put together and can't wait to get on the field and start working with them. Well, we got some guys with a lot more experience, um, whether it was here or somewhere else, right? Um, you know, obviously, we, we've got a quarterback that's played a lot of football, a, an older person. We've got a couple of uh, offensive linemen that are older and play a lot of football. And that can probably be said for almost every position that we've recruited um, some transfers into. And that was our goal. You know, you can't back up a, uh, a extremely young team with another young freshman signing class. So uh, we focused on some transfers and some guys that, um, you know, are, are going to fit what we're trying to do here. And, uh, you know, anytime you've got an older team, at least you got some experience and you got some confidence and, uh, and hopefully that turns into some leadership. A lot of that, you know, we haven't been on the field with them for practice yet with some of these guys, but a lot of that's going to come through some, you know, some adversity that, that we give them and then some adversity, adversity from some other areas, whether it be weather or time change or whatnot. But, um, we're excited to get out there with these guys because we, we just feel like right now we've got some um, older, more mature team than what we had a year ago. Um, and that, that's pretty exciting for the entire staff and me. Uh, the offensive lines, you know, got more seniors there than any other position, you know. And, and you got a lot of guys there that's played a lot of football. You know, Cole LeClaire, Dylan Dozart, you know, th those guys have, have started a lot of football games. Uh, you know, so, you know, that, that group right there, um, we're going to lean heavy on this year, and I think you kind of want it that right, that way, right? Um, you know, the game starts up front in the trenches, and that's on the offense line and defensive line. So excited about that offense line group with the, uh, the the leadership ability that they're going to have and the experience that they bring. Excited about the defensive line. We beefed them up quite a bit. You know, we, we've got the uh, you know five transfers right there that, that come with some playing experience, whether it's at another four-year school or, or at, a, at a junior college, but um, obviously a lot bigger. You know, uh, you know, you got the, um, you know, Simeon is, you know, about 6'2 and over over 300. You got Steven Johnson, who's 6'3 and a half and 330. I mean, so we're just a lot more size right there. And then, uh, you know, throw on top of there, you know, Wellen Williams has had a great offseason. A, a guy with, some, with another year experience under him. It would be one of our juniors. Um, you know, Macy Lewis, you know, he, he's continued to gain some weight. And then, you know, young man, we, we – uh, you know, we didn't forget about a year ago, but you never heard about a year ago, was Philip Bradford. You know, Philip Bradford, uh, we had high, high expectations for him when he came in as a true freshman because he was so big and so athletic. Well, you know, he had diabetes a year ago and lost a ton of weight. Well, he's got that regulated now, and he's looking great. He's back up to 280 pounds, and he's got his strength back. And um, so we're really excited about, you know, seeing how he progresses being back out on the field with us. We've got playmakers at a lot of different positions. You know, we're really deep in the running back room, you know. Um, the receiver room, I mean, this is the best core of receivers we've had since we've been here. Um, you know, still got some you know, guys there that are pretty young. Jermichael, um, you know, he's a young guy, but gosh, he, he, he's such a hard worker and um, the, the sky's the limit for him. You know, Corey O'Brien, but then we brought in Jesse Campbell. He's got a lot of experience. Uh, Curtis DeVille, um, he doesn't have a whole lot of experience, right? Uh, he didn't play a whole lot there at Purdue, but we know his talent level, and he's done some great things since he's been here. So, um, yeah, to answer your question, I mean, yeah, uh, the more talent we can grab and throw on the on either side of the ball. Um, offensively, we try to use all of our, our uh, positions as as a as a weapon, right? We, we want a 1,000-yard receiver at every position. We want a 1,000-yard uh, rusher in the backfield with another 500 yards receiving out of the backfield. Um, I, I do feel like we've got playmakers all over the, the offense right now. Um, but with that being said, defense, I'm pretty excited there too because even on the back end defense, we've got some guys with a lot of playing experience. Um, you know, we, we signed a few corners here of late. They've got a lot of playing experience coming in from bigger programs. Uh, Reggie Ellis has been here all summer, played a lot of football. He's a, he's a nickel. Um, they played a lot of football at Tulsa. So, you know, we got, we got some more toys on that side, as, as you, you can say too, that we're pretty excited to get on the field with. You talk about, uh, you know, Connor Knight from UAB, uh, Miles Winslow from Georgia Southern, um, Steven from Auburn. Uh, you know, all those guys, um, some of them played a good bit. Miles played a good bit. The other two were young guys there. But, um, you know, they, they are very, very talented. They, they look like FBS players when they take the field, right? Now, that doesn't mean a whole lot if you can't do something with it. But uh, we, we like their athletic ability for that size, and uh, we think that's a big improvement for that defensive line. I mean, we were, we were young and, and, and a little light and weak in some areas there last year and, um, by nobody's fault. It's just if you're playing some freshmen in the trenches, 
you're going to get pushed around a little bit, you know. And uh, I think the guys that we brought in and the guys that are returning are, are developing. But I, I think we've got the size and strength there to be very, very competitive there in the trenches. There, there's some guys that can't come to camp. we got so many guys that are on the roster right now, you know. Um, so we, we definitely feel like we've got the depth. Um, travel squad will be a challenge. You know, you can't travel any, everybody, but we, we – we feel like right now we're at least two deep and in some positions three deep at, at every position. Um, again, I'll, I'll stay on the running back room for a second. We got five guys right there that have started and played a lot of football, whether it be here or somewhere else. So um, that's going to be a highly competitive room right there. And um, you know, somebody can be a starter right now and, and a couple of mistakes here and there, and they, they find out their fourth or fifth string running back because of the talent in that room. Now it's a long season, right? And in college football today, you can't you can't play with just two running backs. They just don't hold up like that. But um, I think we got a lot of talent everywhere. Uh, I do not feel like we're handcuffed in any way. Um, I, I think like even our quarterback room with with six killer and um, and Cliff. You know, you got two guys right there that um, you know Cliff played a lot of ball. Six killer got a taste of it last year, and then Alex Flores, same thing. You know, he played a lot of football um, you know, at junior college. So. You know, I, I do feel a lot better right now because we have some older guys and we do have some experience, and uh, I feel like we've got a lot of um, a playmaker ability out there. You know, I think TC and Colby Ham are, are very similar. You know, they're big physical guys. Uh, they both run well, and they both can catch the ball. Um, you know, I've, I've been, I've had I've run backs in the past that are, are big and physical, but have uh, bricks for hands. Uh, neither one of these guys are like that. They can catch the ball. And uh, then you got, you know, Joe, Sean, and Bryce are very similar. You know, you got two smaller guys that are, you know, kind of your typical scat back, but they're both extremely strong. I mean, Joe Sean might be the strongest guy on the team pound for pound. So uh, him and Bryce, um, they can they can take it to the house. They, both those guys remind us a lot of uh, Deontay McMahon a couple years ago. And then you got D'Lo in the mix, and D'Lo's kind of a nice blend of, of both those styles. You know, D'Lo's a big guy. He can run very well, and he's got great hands. So, um you know, I think we'll be able to do some different things with, with that backfield right now. Um, you know, a couple of them might be able to line up at slot receiver here and there and give some different looks um, out of some personnel grouping. But um, yeah, we're, we're excited to get out there and start, start you know, playing around with some of that. We've got a guy that's performed at this level. We've, it's not somebody that, you know, we have seen their high school film or he's transferring somewhere we didn't play. And us trying to gauge where I, you know, he, he should be able to do it at this level. This guy's done it, um, you know. So it kind of takes that away, right? I, I don't, I don't think he'll go into his first college game here and 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 panic and not be the player we've seen all summer. That's pretty encouraging, um, you know. But you know, I'll say this too: him and Six have had a really good, healthy relationship. They really have, and um, I have seen Six's game elevate a good bit since he's he's been here. Six has been in the office. Six is talking football every day. Six has uh, been lifting really hard. He's gained about eight pounds since the spring. So, you know, competition makes everybody better, you know, and, and I believe that for every position we have right now that uh, we've got some great competition in every position. But um, it does take the, uh, oh, wow, I hope we got the right QB on the roster. Um, we're not worried about that. You got to stay healthy. You know, when, when we made our national championship run, we didn't lose one starter. And I asked Cliff that, hey, when y'all y'all made that run last year, were y'all pretty healthy? He goes, Coach, we had a couple of guys got banged up here and there, but they never missed a game. That's well, that's that's par for the course. So, um, because it is a very very long season, and uh, you know now we got two bye weeks built in that with playing in week zero, um, we're, we're gonna we're gonna tweak practice a little bit, you know, and um, you know I, I know it's still my job to make sure they're ready and they're in shape. I'm not even worried about that. That that's going to take place, but um, I am trying to you know, prepare, you know, down the road, like how you know, we, we, we probably don't need to go out there and practice for two hours, you know, on a Monday when it's somewhat of a recovery day, it might be uh, scaled back a good bit, you know, so uh, we got to keep these guys fresh and, and the, the teams that stay the healthiest longest are usually the teams that make a good run at it. Why, why go more? Well, a couple of things. Um, if, if you remember last year, and let's hope it didn't get there this year, but uh, last year it was so hot that, because of the the heat bulb, and I was I was laughing with at Aaron about this just uh, on Monday because he's been up north, he didn't know what the heat bulb was, and why do we got to listen to this heat bulb? It's been a college rule for like ten years now, I think. But anyway, um, you know we we had we had to get off the field by nine thirty a.m. Right. So um, so this this year we just, uh, let's go ahead and plan everything out in the morning. 
Well, now move to the season. Well, if we go in the morning, then we're going to beat the heat and probably going to beat the weather. So again, we just talked about keeping the team healthy and fresh as the longest. Well, that, that'll help them tremendously. If we do wake up in the morning and we've got bad weather or lightning, we have an opportunity to go late in the afternoon. Last year, we lost a couple of practices because of bad weather. We, we couldn't make that up. We'd go into the uh, basketball arena and do walkthroughs, and that was our Tuesday or Wednesday practice. So um, we did it at my previous school. We absolutely loved it. Um, about four teams in our conference are doing it. It just helps so much because it helps us recruiting all afternoon. It helps us game planning. Um, we find that when we practice in the mornings, our players then go to class. And they're not going to go take naps at 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But what happens is they come start hanging out with us more and watching more football. So um, every coach that's ever done it absolutely loves it. And um, I think it will be a good fit for us here.